We know the story of Iliad. Today we will try to have a glimpse of some important characters of this epic poem. Okay. So first of all, we will have a look to Achilles' character. We know Achilles is the epic hero of this epic poem, Iliad. He is the epic hero and uh, the greatest warrior as well and uh, he had been uh, fighting against uh, for Achaean's army that means the Greek army uh, the Iliad is about the Trojan war and it is primarily about the war as it is affected by Achilles' wrath wrath means excessive anger Achilles is the main character and his intention or withdrawal from the fighting is crucial to the plot plot means the arrangement of his story so if Achilles could not be angry, if Achilles could not get himself relief of the war, the story might be different. So Achilles' anger is the main uh, thing that Homer told at the very beginning of the epic, that means the epic convention, that means invocation to Muse. He is a complex warrior who sometimes ignores the cultural norms of his society. In Homeric culture, every hero will, ha will have to follow the culture of the society and the heroic courts. Heroic courts that means they will be fighting for the nation. They will also be take care of their family and society as well. So Achilles in some sort violated that. Achilles is also the greatest warrior and uh, fighter among the Achaeans. He is invulnerable. Invulnerable. Why? Because except on the hill, there is a weak point on the hill. Because his mother dipped him in the river Styx. S-T-Y-X. The spelling that I told uh, you earlier. As a baby. Furthermore, no warrior comes close to being his equal as a fighter. So he was the, Achilles was the great warrior in Achaean side or Greek side. Achilles has a strong sense of social order that is beginning manifests itself in his concern of the disorder of the Achaean camp. A deadly plague at the time of the plague. That means this is Achilles who ordered for a council, who called for a council. But actually Agamemnon was the commander in chief. Agamemnon was supposed to call the council. It is not the jurisdiction of Achilles that Achilles will be killing, uh, calling the council, but Achilles called that. His king Agamemnon will not act, so Achilles decide to act to get relief from the plague. So Agamemnon, that is, and he calls an assembly of the entire army. In doing this, Achilles upsets the order of the protocol. Order of the protocol, that means who is the senior? Agamemnon is the senior. So Agamemnon was supposed to call the assembly, that means the, the meeting for all soldiers. Achilles did it. Achilles did it for the sake of the soldiers of the Greek army because Agamemnon was inactive to get relief from the plague. But doing this, Achilles violated the protocol. He shouldn't do this. That is, he succeeds partially and he finds out that the plague is killing hundreds of Achaean soldiers, but in their process, he creates a disorder. When it is revealed that Agamemnon is responsible for the deadly plague. Okay. If it is not so, if Agamemnon would not be responsible for this, what does it mean? It means that Achilles did a good thing. Achilles had a good task for the assembly. He did 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 did good for the Achaean soldiers. And Apollo fits the plague, <coughs> leaves the plague. But after Achilles withdraws himself, withdraws himself and his troop from the Achaean army, disorder still remains among the Achaeans. Okay. Agamemnon, of course, as a guilty of the creating ensuing disorder as Achilles is, but Achilles seems petulant and argumentative. He is undermining the little <laughs> harmony that does exist. In his argument, Agamemnon receives all the best prizes. Agam Achilles said that, yes, I am the great warrior. And Achilles thought that he is equal to Agamemnon. And not only that, 
Achilles was the great warrior and uh, for this reason the fight they own Achilles thought that he will be getting the best prizes but the best prizes would go to Agamemnon what are the prizes that means the women that was the warrior gifts okay so Agamemnon in this sense was argumentative so Agamemnon receives all the best pri best warrior prizes and does nothing to earn them that means Agamemnon didn't own the battle didn't win the battle Achilles did and Achilles fought against the all uh, raids as you know his race even causes him to almost attempt to kill Agamemnon at the time of the uh, uh, argument between Agamemnon and Achilles Achilles was ready to kill Agamemnon okay he was so angry and at the invocation of uh, to the muse we have understood that Achilles's wrath is the main cause of this epic hero you know, epic poem but the goddess Athena saves him from from this deed Athena that means a god they save Agamemnon it should be noted that Achilles doesn't leave the Achaean army without sufficient reason what is the reason that is Agamemnon demanded to have the median prices Achilles were price and Achilles saw this act as a parallel to the Paris kidnapping of Helen Paris kidnapped Helen that was Menelaus wife in the same way Agamemnon took Achilles's war prize that is Bryce's so there is a comparison the way Paris took Helen in the same way Agamemnon took Bryce's okay so there is a point so uh, that is not uh, the uh, crucial point as well consequently the quarrel between himself and Agamemnon as the righteous to him as it is the wire against the Trojan but even after uh, Agamemnon offers to return uh, Briseis along with numerous other gifts Achilles remains angry okay next time Agamemnon said that yes I have taken your wire price in return I am going I, I am going to give you so many gifts wire price but still Achilles was not ready to accept those and Achilles remained aloof of the fighting that can be that means there is no consolation of Achilles in that stage because if it becomes the heroic code that hero will be fighting not for himself but for the nation so nation's cause is the first priority but in this case that means the angry quarrel between Agamemnon and Achilles becomes very personal and emotional in terms of Agamemnon and also in terms of Achilles okay so that was the thing and uh, a concern for gifts the reader realizes is far less important to Achilles than his concern of a proper honored place in the world actually hero will be fighting for the nation and the country and they will also be fighting for the immortality what is the immortality that means the heroic immortality for fighting for um, glorious fighting the hero's name will be remembered by generation after generation that is the honest desire of every hero that hero will be in the name of the mind of the people of the generation after generation so that was the thing but here we see that whenever Agamemnon took Achilles' wild prize Briseis that is a threat to Achilles' honor the hero will also be sick of honor and the public honor and that was done publicly and for this reason Achilles thought that yes this is the disgrace to my honor I am the greatest hero so this shouldn't be done publicly so we can say that Achilles's anger might have some causes reasons that Achilles was angry for which reason especially for the public disgrace that means that was this honor disgrace to Achilles in front but next time we can also comp see see that that Achilles um, when Agamemnon uh, uh, wanted to give so many wire prizes again Achilles could admit that yes I am ready to accept the gifts and I, I am going to join the uh, fighting he could do so but Achilles couldn't do so the idea of social status 
it's in keeping with the heroic code by the uh, by which Achilles has lived. But in his isolation, he comes to consider the idea of fighting for glory alone. Because a man dies still if he has done nothing. The idea developing the Achilles' mind is that the concept of home, the family, and the individual are both important to society and to a heroic honor. So the idea of honor the honor of personal honor and also the society that is the social honor that is important uh, for the social perspectives and also the heroic perspectives. Heroic perspectives of what? That means the Homeric heroic perspectives. At the time the, uh, the uh, Iliad was written. Some critics see that these ideas slowly developing through Achilles' ability to relate others to the personal basis and he does with the Patroclus. So we have seen that Achilles didn't always take decision on the personal ground. Personal ground means for the causes of Bryseus. Okay. Next time, that means hero will have to be committed to the family, society and the relationship. But previously we haven't uh, noticed that. But in case of Patroclus, we have noticed that. When Patroclus was killed, Achilles thought that it is his duty to avenge for Achilles' death. And that, that the bond is, the relationship, got priority uh, for Achilles. So in that case, Achilles was, uh, was developing uh, 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 Achilles got development in his mental state slowly. From the very beginning of the epic, we see in the book one the quarrel between Achilles and Agamemnon too. But when the story moved on, we see for at the death of Patroclus, Achilles thought that it is his duty to take revenge for Patroclus's death. Why? He could think that yes, even, even his mother. Achilles' mother said that yes, if you take revenge for Patroclus' death, you might be killed. Okay? That is your fate. Still, Achilles was ready to take revenge for Patroclus' death. That means the idea, the relationship, the bond is got priority in Achilles solely with the story. Okay? And that happened in uh, uh, for the death of Patroclus. And Patroclus is for the death of Patroclus. Uh, unfortunately, however, Achilles is unable to see the Achaeans fill with Erdral as keenly as he now feels for the loss of Patroclus. So, for the loss of Patroclus, it has two uh, explanations. One explanation that Patroclus, for the death of Patroclus, Agamemnon started fighting for Greeks. But before he didn't. So one side, uh, who is the greater Patroclus or the uh, Greek uh, Greek army, whole Greek, Greek army? So in terms that Achilles started fighting for Patroclus. So the countries or nation thought might be the greatest. Okay, but Achilles couldn't fight for the Greek, but he fight for Patroclus. But in another way, we can say that yes. Hero will also be responsible for the relationship and bonding. In that case, Achilles is fighting for uh, Patroclus' death. That can be explained positively in such a way that still Achilles understood that if he if he takes revenge for Patroclus' death, he would die. Still, he thought it is his responsibility to fight uh, for uh, to take revenge for. Uh, Petroclasses death. And even uh, there is another uh, quote that is uh, at the at the time of uh, Achilles' violence closes with the death of Hector. Okay. And with Achilles' mutilation of Hector's crops. Mutilation Maneshuri did Bibinong Kotongo Alada Kora, Bitset Kora, Othoba dead body rupore ashan man kora okay so actually Achilles was angry and for this reason he killed Hector and not only that he showed Achilles showed disgrace to Hector's dead body okay that is the cause of cruelty you can say that is cruel and yeah, that is the violation of Homeric heroic code what is the heroic code that every hero should respect to the dead body 
okay and allow every hero will allow the dead body to have proper funeral that means the burial activities okay but Achilles didn't do so whenever whenever Hector's father came and requested Achilles that yes give the my son's dead body back so that I can have we can have proper burial and at that time Achilles reconciled with his anger and he became less angry and gave the dead body to to Hector's father Priam okay so that is the condition that means the Achilles is the epic hero and from the beginning we have said that the uh, Achilles was a man of anger but uh, simultaneously we have seen that Achilles' anger became le uh, less violent and uh, he uh, pardoned or he gave Hector's dead body to uh, Priam, that means Hector's father, that is a good sign of Achilles' character. Okay. So that is about Achilles. Okay. We have <coughs> seen another hero that is Agamemnon. Okay. So Agamemnon is the commander in chief. Agamemnon inherited the role of the king from his father and his community ex expects him as king to establish society, arbitrates disputes and call council meetings and assemblies and he is also commander in chief of the armies. Both Odysseus and the Nestor attempt to maintain Agamemnon's authority because they recognize that supporting Agamemnon is the only way to ensure an effective and meaningful policy of order. Agamemnon is after all the king and their leader. So Agamemnon was the king. But we have seen that Agamemnon had two counselors, Nestor and Odysseus. Odysseus. Okay. It means that whenever they, somebody will have counselor, that means Agamemnon had to do many things with the advice of these two elderly men, Nestor and uh, Odysseus. It means that he can't do or he can't take a decision on self. He had to take decision with the help of Nestor and uh, uh, Odysseus. Nestor advises, for example, uh, almost immediately the readers see that Agamemnon often allows his overwrought emotions to govern major critical decision. Nestor advises Agamemnon against taking Briseis from Achilles. Not only that, always Nestor always Agamemnon wouldn't take Nestor's advices. When Agamemnon was going to take Briseis, that means Achilles' wire price, Nestor said, no, you will not take Briseis from Achilles. But Agamemnon didn't pay heed to Nestor's advice and took Briseis. But Agamemnon doesn't listen and thereby setting up a chain of events that results the death of hundreds of Achaeans soldiers. If Agamemnon wouldn't take Briseis from Achilles. What would happen? Achilles would be fighting for weeks and a Greek army will get victory earlier. Isn't it? So for the reason of taking Briseis from Achilles, this reason becomes the cause of hundreds of death of Greek soldiers. Isn't it? If Achilles would fight. So that is the analogy. So who is responsible for that? Ag Agamemnon. If Agamemnon would not take that, that is the Achilles. Unfortunately, Agamemnon was born to role greater than his ability. Achilles, another hot-tempered Greek, was born to role less than his ability. Okay, in comparison to the ability, okay, Agamemnon was the king. That means he had the greater responsibility, but his ability is less. But Achilles was the was a hero. His ability was much more in comparison to Agamemnon, but he had risk responsibility so there is an analogy over here both men are great men but both are quick uh, to anger both are conscious of their roles but they must play within the heroic codes heroic codes neither man neither man is willing to compromise to or to accept the seemingly lower status within the heroic code so they are a uh, quarrel of our prices result in the tragic bridge between the two one is uh, one that creates a central conflict in the Iliad. So the quarreling between quarrel between Agamemnon and Achilles becomes the con uh, becomes the conflict of this epic. Okay. So who is responsible for this conflict? 
Agamemnon also responsible. Achilles also responsible, and Agamemnon also responsible for this. And uh, Agamemnon shows devotion and to and concern for his brothers, Menelaus as well. Agamemnon realizes that order in the Achaean society depends upon Helen's return to Menelaus, and he is aware of the importance of the family order. One thing is that in Homeric heroic code, family order is important. Okay. Agamemnon was the king. Okay. Agamemnon really could deny that Menelaus' wife was kidnapped. It is Menelaus' case. He would think so, but Agamemnon wouldn't think so. Agamemnon found that yes, Menelaus' wife should back to Greek. Why? For the familial harmony. Okay. In that case, Agamemnon's role to fight against Troy, to get Helen's back to Greek, that was a positive quality of Agamemnon. Because Agamemnon had been fighting for the family order and the social order and the communi community cause. Community cause, when a wife will be kidnapped from some country, that is a shame for person, family, society and community. So Agamemnon fought for that. Agamemnon fight to get Helen back to Greek. It means that Adam Agamemnon had a great cause for the communal harmony, the social, social harmony, and also the families, bondage, and relationship. Okay, so that is praiseworthy in Agamemnon's uh, character. Agamemnon is weak. He vacill uh, vacillates during periods of the depression and discouragement. He makes wrong decisions. He is sometimes unfair. He, fa uh, he fails to realize that a king must not succumb to his own desires and emotions. Okay, another negative point is that king will be the leader of all people. So king should not be guided by personal emotion and causes. But again, that is so. We know for the cause of the prices. He insists on keeping his uh, Trojan war prize crisis. Whenever crisis, Manila, uh, Agamemnon's war prize name, you, you know, crisis, isn't it? Uh, uh, Briseus and then Chryseus. Chryseus father appealed to Agamemnon that please give my daughter back. But Agamemnon didn't pay heed to that. Okay. And there is a cause that for the cause of the Chryseus, lots of Greek army were died for the cause of plague. If Chryseus would give back to Chryseus father, then there wouldn't be no plague, isn't it? Yes. And the soldiers will not die. But for the cause of the emotional and the personal cause, Agamemnon didn't give back crisis to her father. Okay, so that is another weak point of Agamemnon. That Agamemnon was guided, was guided by emotions, was guided by personal cause. But her king should not be guided by, should not be guided by personal cause. Agamemnon did it. Okay, so that is. Uh, Agamemnon's another fault, okay, and uh, let's let's go back to this character. Another important character is Hector. Hector is the undisputed commander of the Trojan army. Okay, Agamemnon and the Menelaus. They are the Menelaus was elder brother. And Agamemnon was younger. Still, Agamemnon was the king, isn't it? But there is so there is a dispute. And again, there is another 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 dispute that Achilles was the most able hero. Still, Achilles was not the commander in chief. Agamemnon was the commander in chief. But in case of Hector, Hector was the undisputed commander of the Trojan army. No other Trojan warrior approaches Hector's courage and valor. In Greek army, Nestor, Odysseus, Achilles, they were quite equal to Agamemnon. But in case of Trojan, nobody was equal to Hector. And he is also viewed as a future king of Troy. As such, he already shows that his responsibility to the community and his concern to the Trojan women and for the Trojan community in general define him as a norm of the Homeric societies. As I have said, the Homeric hero will be very much bonded with the society, family and community. In every way, at the time of fighting between Agamemnon 
Achilles and Hector. That means I fight for my country. I fight for my people. Then Hector said that yes. Do, uh, Hector said Achilles. Do you know that how many Achilles said that yeah. Go back prince. Make some love with your wife. And we will fight tomorrow. Then Achilles, uh, Hector said that Achilles you know you don't know how many wives they have lost their husband. Achilles answered that yes, you should ask that question to your younger brother. <laughs> okay, so that is the cause. Still, Hector, Hector had that responsibility to the family, society, and also, and that is the heroic cause. Unwittingly, however, Hector, the Trojan best warrior, acts as the agent of bring back Achilles into battle because after Hector kills Patroclus Achilles believes that he has no choice except to revenge Patroclus by killing Hector again if Hector would not kill Patroclus the wire would end at that point and Achilles would not return and if Achilles would not return to fighting Hector would not die and the history might be different okay by killing Patroclus Achilles, uh, Hector got Achilles back in fighting and as a result Hector would shortly become the victim of the Achilles but it should be the it is stressed that Hector is trapped by the illusion of the Trojan victory a victory that was seemingly granted by Zeus himself actually Zeus is the supreme god in Greek mythology or Greek mythology you can say that Zeus hovered and he, Zeus Asher Asher, Jews usher light to the Trojan hope that finally Troy will get victory in that fight. Jews gave that hope to Trojan army. So Hector thought that finally we will get victory. Okay. So that is the illusion. Illusion means Maya. Morochikar Modde Jaman Dakaja Dure Pani. That is the illusion. And for this region that is called in Epic Hero, especially the uh, epic poems that would be the fighting between God and goddesses. That means involvement of God and gods and goddesses is one of the chief tenets of epic poem, chief characteristics of epic poem. So Jews said that Troy you will get victory. Okay. And that is Hector continues a fight that everyone including himself knows is doomed by fate because he grabs at the illusion of the Trojan victory throughout the epic Hector functions largely as a comparison and contrast to Achilles as a mature man with his family with a strong feeling about the responsibility Hector is contrast to Achilles's frustration and passionate outburst of emotion Hector has decided his life to the service of others Hector said that I am ready to dedicate my life for the service of others especially for my countrymen okay that was his uh, declaration and Achilles in some sort he uh, he was very much fortunate so in contrast Achilles seems superhuman because of the of his extreme and excesses however both are great warriors so if you make comparison between Hector and Achilles both are great warriors though Hector has less faults Achilles has less good qualities okay so however both are great warriors and leading soldiers on the respective sides in addition, Hector's social responsibility and his heroic qualities, he is also a thoughtful commander. He focuses on energy and although he fears Telamonius, Ajax, he bravely battles with him until nightfall. Virtuous, faithful to the gods in the respects and he refuses the wine that his mother Hecuba. What's the name of Hector's father? Hecuba. H-E-K-U-B-A. Hecuba. Hecuba offered him wine. Okay. But actually, uh, Hector didn't drink that wine. Hector thought that if I drink wine, my I I might get my con uh, loose. I might get my consciousness loose. At the time of the fighting, being a commander, I shouldn't be guided by the emotion. So I may take wrong decision if I drink wine. So Hector didn't uh, uh, drink that wine. Uh, and he said that yes, that wine may cause him to forget his duty to his troops so that is a good example 
of Hector's con concern. Uh, Paris's behavior places Hector in a dilemma, in the socially necessary. Uh, Paris, Hector didn't support Paris's cause. He rebuked, Hector rebuked his younger brother Paris. He rebukes Paris for kidnapping Helen, the act that perpetrates the wire. Jodi Helen ke kidnap na kora hoto, thale tohi dosh bosore juddo hi hoto na. E dharone ra mahakabbo le kha hoto na. E jo who is the real cause? Real, 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 real cause. That is the. That is the abduction, uh, kidnapping of Helen. By whom? By Paris. So. Hector rebuked his younger brother that it is you for the for the cause of you that was the fighting between Greek and Troy. And so many soldiers have been killed are killed. Yeah. So actually Hector Totake Galta Choto Hai, Kalmondo Nakulapato. But he did this. That is a positive sign of Hector's character that Hector rebuked his younger brother for kidnapping Helen. And Paris's behavior places Hector in a dilemma in a society necessary to protect Paris. Okay, actually, upon high, I get the look of the whole. It doesn't have a responsibility about the book to hobby. Shadow Taraka responsibility that ill or wrong shouldn't be discouraged by the hero, and especially the heroic code and heroic culture. So, being the great hero in the Iliad, Hector rebuked Paris and simultaneously. He did everything to save Paris. Okay, so both are positive in Hector's characters. Thus, the heroic code binds Hector into an uncomfortable, untenable position. Khiteo pachena, gilteo pachena, phileo dite pachena. Okay, so that is the untenable position. Helen also places Hector in an untenable position. And her being a woman complicates the problem. Helen is a guest of the Trojan co court. Again, Helen is a guest. And she is also the wife of Paris. And Paris also pirated some of the Menelaus' uh, treasures, material treasures. Paris also pirated some of the Menelaus' material treasures. But the fact remains that Helen is still the wife without a dowry. A matter that runs counter to Troy's social codes. Okay, Hector doesn't blame Helen. Paris should Helen ke niya shini kisu abar kisu jini shor resource or shampo to niya chole ashchi. Okay, e jono Helen ki she review kore na ke Hector. Okay, but being improperly married. She is the symbol of disorder and the threat to the social system of both the Trojans and the Achaeans. Still, Paris is responsible the way uh, it takes to, to make a quarrel. Yeah. If Paris becomes the sole responsible, then Helen might be the heart responsible, isn't it? What is the difference between soul and heart? Eh? Co responsible. So you can't. It takes to, to make a quarrel. Isn't it? So if Paris would be responsible. 50% but in that case in that case in that case our concern is that Hector didn't review uh, rebuke rebuke Helen Hector didn't rebuke Helen so that was the unlike Helen Hector's wife Hector's wife Andrew Mackey or Mackey Mackey what I Andrew Mackey is associated with the social order of the continuation of the family. Hector's obvious love for the Andrew Mackey symbolizes his belief in the proper domesticity and his image of her being taken captive and the working of the loom for another woman representing him, his deep fear of disorder. Hector also cons expressed concern of Andrew Mackey's might be taken captive by the Greeks, suggesting that he sees though Helen and the wrong and the Paris committed. Okay? The way Helen was kidnapped by Paris, in the same way, if Greek gets victory, Judi Greek Rajudha Joyla Kore Tale Andromachis Kihobe, Andromachi Kihobe, Andromachi Kio Daraki Kola Nijabe, Greek, Nijabe, because in the raids, Jara Joyla Kore, Tadir, Manus Dir, Merefelbe, Mede Ketara, Merefelena, Nijai. Okay, Ejon Andromachi. So, 
Hector's advice to and Hector's concern to his wife Andromache that is also a family bonding. That means Hector loved his family very much and he knows that he might be killed by Achilles. Still, Hector gave advice to Andromache that you, uh, I may see that you might be taken by the Greeks. So, Hector's relationship and attitude towards women and children is deeply embedded in Homeric culture. Hector, at the time of the fighting, he had a son, nearly two years of age at the time. At the before the fighting between Achilles and Hector, We uh, will not back cards, but we will come. We will not come back cards, but the concern is that. It a bullet actor. Jodi, if I might be killed, of course you might be taken by the Greek armies. Abong tar shantan tau, tar shantan ke oniye jabe. It a bullet se. Pele paliye jawar ko tha bullet se ki na. It a kum kono information. Movie the Okay. Uh, so in the court of that era, the uh, son fights like his father. Here I quote the years. Among the son Keshe Volsha Jiki. Yeah, the son fights like his father, but the son is also ra raised by the mother and he teaches him that he must be hero fighting for her and for other women who will also raise heroes. Okay. In this culture, there was a great concern of women because they were dependent and like young children, they were vulnerable to enslavement. Actually, at the time of fighting, women and children will be the slave, will be taken. And for this reason, Hector's concern was that Hector was very sympathetic for his wife and his son. That indicates that Hector was very much responsible for his society and family as well. So these are the Achilles and Hector. Both are the great warriors, but in comparison, Hector had great cause and he gave responsibility to, to responsibility to family and society and country as well. Okay. So we see that is the <coughs> Hector's uh, condition in that uh, we will be getting some concern that is some heroic codes are there. What is the heroic codes? That means in in case of the notion that is the hero and the Homeric culture. Okay. How we will be de dealing with the hero and the we have got Odysseus, Achilles, Hector, uh, Nestor, so many heroes. So how they will be guided and what is their ideology? Okay. That will speak. If we, uh, the notion of the personal honor is prevalent throughout the Iliad, but the honor of every person of Homeric culture was important. In case of hero, one thing that is the honor. And for the honor, Agamemnon couldn't surrender, Achilles couldn't surrender. For the cause, for the cause of personal honor. But to the hero, his honor was paramount. But in case of the hero, especially the Homeric hero, Honor is the one and only thing. He couldn't endure insults and he felt that he had to protect his reputations in no way. Uh, great uh, Homeric hero. Even unto death, the hero's duty was to fight and the only way he had to gain in glory and immortality was through heroic action on the battlefield. One thing that hero will <coughs> be very much careful about his or her honor. Number two, every hero will be fighting for heroic immortality. The Homeric, the Homeric hero believed that man had to stand together in battle. Another thing that at the time of the fighting, everybody should be connected with each other. Okay, And man had to respect each other and they had to refrain from excessive cruelty. Another heroic code that they wouldn't be excessively cruel. But we have seen in the case of Achilles, Achilles was, and Hector in some portion did so. Okay. Achilles does the Hector's body mutilate. Okay. Mutilate. That means, Shita uh, Kore But that is the code that Homeric hero will not be cruel in excess. Okay. 
The homeric hero lived by strict social and the cultural norms. Social and cultural norms. That is the culture, that means the burial, the social uh, responsibility, responsibility to a family. So every hero will be doing that. In that case, actor followed that, Achilles didn't follow. Communal honor was vital in the homeric hero's status. That means honor in the community. The hero's social responsibility was essential to maintain his status. Social responsibility. What is a social responsibility? Homeric community depended upon their heroes to defend in its social and religious rights and all other facets of community life. The hero of the Homeric culture recognized the rightness of his community's anger. For example, when Agamemnon stripes Achilles for his wild prize, Agamemnon places the responsibility for his action on Jews and destiny. Okay. Jokon tar wild prize ki niye jai, Achilles bale, yes, I will not fight for Agamemnon. Okay. Actually, this is his faith and he appealed, Achilles appealed to Jews. Okay. So, that was the uh, thing of Homeric codes and others. Okay. And uh, we will be looking some of the themes in a brief that what is the theme that is Anger is the theme as at the very initial point of this epic hero that is the wrath of Achilles might be the main cause of this epic poem. So what is the theme that is the anger, strife, alienation and reconciliation. The main theme of the Iliad is stated in the first line that Homer asked the muse. Muse is who is muse? Goddess of poetry. How many of them? Nine. Eh? Ajana muse as well. God is muse. Muse money hello Kobita Devi. Greek method Kobit Devi Judhir Devi Kub Kobi uh Shavasto Haladaladas. Okay. So the main theme of the Iliad is stated in the first line that Homer asked the muse to sing of the wrath of Achilles. The wrath, all its all its permu uh, <coughs> permutations, transformation, influences and the consequence makes up the theme of Iliad. That is the anger of Iliad. The wrath of Achilles is provocated by Achilles' sense of honor as a result of Eris or discord which leads to the uh, intention. And also the Achilles' wrath is initiated by the sense of honor. Uh, underlying the idea of honor is another Greek concept, is strife, personified by the goddess Eris. For the Greeks, life was based on the idea of strife and turmoil. Greek would think that yes, Life is the fighting. We have to fight for life. <laughs> and to try to avoid this type was to avoid life. Kyoto Judd surrender could be bato. Greek Dao Judd the Buddha Jitika say Helen Cholega say Amra Judd Kolam na Shuka Shanti de Bashko. Okay. Kidu it anna Judhu Tad Mutte Tawarakta theme. Yes, Shitahu Koranai. Agent is strife, Judho is struggle, Kora Hochet, Adrekta, act a theme. Life was based on the idea that life is full of strife and turmoil. To try to avoid Ado Judho, who is looking at Aki Amrajani. If you want to be an epic poet writer, Judy Apni Mohakabo Likte Chan. Okay, so, uh, so strife, anger, reconciliation, and this more elemental strife could lead to evil and both types of the strife. Okay, why we will be reading the epic? That would be a good question. Okay, actually. When you will be reading good characters, actually, we know the heroic codes, Homeric heroic code, isn't it? Understanding the heroic code, that means it may be that you will also be responsible for your relationship, your bondage, okay? You will be respectable for others, okay? This is the way. And the great literature, philosophy, what do they do to the students, okay? Russian peoples, they study 80, 60, 64% uh, uh, of Russian people, they finish a book 
one book a week. And 46% they have their personal library. Okay, that is the benefit. And the wildest millionaires, they have 10% they have got their wealth from their family, but 90% they have accumulated their wealth by what? What is their power? The power of reading. The power of reading. Power of knowledge also. But how they can gain the knowledge? By reading. Okay, so one initial cause that we want to pass good grade, I want to good grade another cause, but that is the, apart from that cause, that is, it is advisable that every, every day, 20 minutes to 30 minutes, we will be reading something that is not related to your profession. Okay, but uh, that is another debate, <laughs> that is another cause where you will be reading. But these are the things and the uh, theme of this, uh, recall, reconciliation ends with the wrath of Achilles, makes him more than a war hero. Achilles' anger occurs in the two great waves. The first wave, his withdrawal from the battle because of the conflict with Agamemnon, and ends with the Achilles' accept Agamemnon's offer and research agreement concerning uh, Briseis. Okay, so reconciliation is another um, theme of this epic poem. Okay. So, we will be uh, finishing today's class having a glimpse to a uh, few questions, okay, that is, that is the uh, epic hero's tradition will be the, of course, the characteristics of an epic, we know, the characteristics of an epic hero, uh, heroic Homeric hero and Homeric heroic quotes explain the quarrel between Agamemnon and Achilles in book one what is the purpose of the catalog of ships catalog of ships we have talked what is the catalog of ships they will be telling how many persons uh, took part in that war how does the book five differ from the most of the Iliad what is the purpose of the story of Diomedes Odysseus the Olons in the overall plot of the Iliad, describe the shield of Achilles. Shield of Achilles, you had a poem, yeah? Shield of Achilles. And uh, also, what is the significance of the species of Achilles' horse? There is a species. Explain the clash of Velus, symbolized in the first between uh, Achilles and Hector. How does Achilles change over the course of the poem? How does Achilles... Uh, I have given it the email, sir. Uh, and also, uh, there is another theomacy. What does it mean? Theomacy means a battle or a strife among the gods. That is the involvement of gods and goddess. A person who fight against the gods and resist, he will resist uh, the will of the gods. And what is the story of? A Thalamesi is a battle among gods in Greek mythology, an early example of the uh, Titan, Titanomesi, in which Olympian gods fought against the preceding generation. The Titans and the war lasted 10 years and resulted in the victory of... Uh, so, character of Achilles, character of Hector and character of Agamemnon. Characteristics of epic hero, characteristics of epic poem, okay, and the theme, other theme. That are the important things to be uh, discussed. Okay, so my dear sirs and madams, if you have any question, you can make.